is this? Like stalker. It's pretty pretty moody. Give me a second, I'm just setting some stuff up. Some technical difficulties. So there's something I need to fix here. Time. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing this fine Saturday? It's really nice here where I am. And like a, a weird flip flop these past few days. It started off with, um, we had like negative 10 or so, which is like, that's not bad. It, but what, what is annoying is when it gets super windy. Once you had cold and wind, that's that's the annoying part for me as a as a Canadian. Just the volume here. Yeah, it's the wind that kills. It, it just adds a chill that I, I can never quite get out of my bone. force myself to walk in all the time but then now it's it's great now it's like plus 10 I downloaded this map, like Lunar Apocalypse, to take my screenshots and everything. So I, I know I have it, but I'm I was trying to get things set up before stream. I, I started really late. Like I'm trying to do get some prep time done in advance before stream. And I just I woke up so late today that that wasn't gonna happen. So I woke woke up and like two hours ago maybe yeah and I, I got ready haphazardly left to go to the farmers market to wake myself up maybe have some breakfast and then I came home sat down and realized I have to set up my whole computer again and I actually got everything set up that I wanted to and then I'm just right now I'm just I is this it And now I can't find the actual map for later in the stream. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Christopher. Hello, switch on radiation. So I can't get... I could download it now again. I think it's so annoying. Where did I put it? I, it, it here's here's the problem. Like you, you can't see this right now, but I have a uh, like 
one, two, three. Technically four, I guess maybe five, six. I have six version, like six folders right now of Eduke. Just because we needed random versions for this one. I have one for like an add-on pack. There's one was the modern one. Then I have one that had all my mapping upgrades on it. And I'm like, oh, I'll get this sorted out and organized. But I'm not there yet. I'm not there with the Eduke stuff. So now I don't know which one I put Lunar Apocalypse in. I think the newest one in my mind, which is this one. This is the Duke Nukem Reduked album, I guess. I don't know what this is. This is by Lee Jackson. Oh, it's like they're all remixes by other people. Anyways, I never heard it, so I thought we'd do something different. For the uh, background tunage this time, instead of just the time to kill one I end up defaulting to. Granted, the zero hour one might have been fine that we played last week if I wasn't playing it at like two times speed. Made my brain go a little high haywire. Um, Oprah, there it is. That's why it's called Oprah. Uh, of course. Okay, we're, we're, re we're ready. I know where everything is. As long as I remember, it's Oprah. Why, cat? Why? No, why do you have to come now? I finally got everything arranged here. No. <laughs> this is not a place for a cat. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to switch screens. I just need to get this, this butt out of my way. Hey, 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 a child. Look, you can hear. Look, I have a whole spot for you. Actually, here, let me do this. Will she stay? I doubt it. I doubt it. You come down there, child. Oh no, she's back already. Did my plan not work? Okay, yeah, just hang out there. That's, that's safe. Okay. I'll get my intro out of the way for now. I think I can be able to do that. I think audio is fine too. So welcome everybody uh, to another Saturday stream. Uh, for people who are new here, either now or in the future, watching the archive version of this, um, I'm Devin. I'm playing some Duke Nukem 3D every Saturday so far uh, for the past over 20 weeks now. I know this is episode, what is this, episode 20? is what I have it labeled as. But whatever, 22, 22 weeks. Um, but we've actually done more because I separated some other stuff like Blast Radius and um, Duke Hard. Uh, when we played that 
and they're technically part of the same series. It's just separated them. That's all. And uh, the purpose of everything here is uh, what I was playing. I always wanted to make some Duke Nukem 3D maps growing up. That was my kind of thing I wanted to do growing up, but I never had the mental focus to really be able to do it. So recently, like, I don't know, six or seven months ago now, uh, probably around August, I decided to try to step back in here after, a, this was a little bit before August. I, I ended up playing Shaky Grounds. I think so, I saw it on Twitter or X or whatever we call it nowadays. And transition so you guys can visually see something new while I do this intro. And I wanted to make some maps of my own and I wanted to use this channel as a way to kind of track my progress for myself and then use it to ask for help through the community that I found. And during that process, we decided, or I decided, that at the same time it would be kind of cool to play some more Duke Nukem maps. Don't eat my, don't eat my, don't, no, no, no. Don't need my mouse wires. That's not cool, bro. This is why you're not allowed up here. And the <laughs> purpose, uh, so we decided to start playing some maps as well. And the idea was I was thinking I could get some inspiration from them, see how it is they do what they do, and kind of go from there. And through that process, this channel's evolved a little bit. Right now it's kind of like a, a mini let's play every week. And we also do some mapping as we kind of try to learn more ourselves. Uh, I was working on my own map, which I kind of got stuck on. And then I thought, let's try some other idea here. I'm kind of rambling right now because I'm staring at my cat making sure she doesn't attack something. She's like eyeing my mouse wire. And every time I go to move, it's like, this is the time I'm going to pounce and strike. <laughs> and so through this channel, what we're going to do is we're going to do about 60 minutes of mapping. So an hour of mapping uh, <laughs> to jump ahead and through Mapster 32. If you're not familiar with what Mapster 32 is, this is what I have open right here. This is the level editor for Duke Nukem 3D or any build engine games. So that would be like Blood shadow warrior uh, i guess iron maiden or is it iron fury um i don't know why i will never remember that because then i think phantom fury I, the name's so confusing now maybe it's just me and through master 32 you can make your own levels so this level right now that we're looking at i don't know if it'll visually look okay because this is this is a very old map this is uh billy billy boy's lighthouse a big light that we played one day oh yeah this is gonna be really messed up i think is this what this one is yeah so that's gonna let me open one that's actually not broken in this this version of uh mapster 32. i'll just, I'll just do my old one uh so for example this was like my little map that I was making for myself here. Which we can load up and we can play and uh, everything that we're seeing on this channel was built using this map editor. So through the channel that we're kind of hoping to maybe actually finish a map here. That's that's the goal. And so for the past few weeks, we've actually been doing these 60 minute mapping sessions or I've refined it down to 60 minutes now. And to, to push forward a little map that we're working on here. This is probably like the worst intro I've done, by the way. This is what happens when I don't have any of my, any of my usual prep time to mentally prepare my ADHD mind. is this little guy. So this is our little mall that we've been building. We've been working on a little 90s mall 
and uh, this is where we left off. I'm gonna actually save this as four because we're gonna be building this in a minute. So this is what we are working on now. We got a little pond here, just to give you guys uh, a rundown if you're, if you're new or just wanna kinda get caught up, uh, is we're gonna start working on this 90s mall. And you won't be able to, this is gonna be the back entrance. I have decided this. So I'm gonna show you some stuff I'm thinking of here. I, I don't work on this map physically like in the editor at all, but I, I do think of some ideas outside of it. I'm keeping all building aspects strictly to the stream to really uh, log its progress here is we're going to get in the mall for whatever reason, right? So we got to get in this mall that we're building. And the idea is we're going to have to go through the water to do it. We're going to expand this stuff later on and refine it. It's, it's a little rough patch. Like we just want something happening here, right? And to also play around and learn a technique. So through this, we ended up learning how to go underwater and we can submerge that's the, the, the underwater part we start in we go into here come up here and that would lead us inside the mall into the little fountain here that we have going on here so we actually pop out right up here and so we built this section this was actually the first thing we started to build this little tiny thing technically this was an apartment actually and then we decided to change focuses here and uh, last stream, we kind of added some stairs here and built a skybox or skylight out of what they call true room over room, which is a technique where you're mimicking uh, just another room over room. It's kind of exactly what it sounds. But if you're not familiar, this engine isn't 3D, so it's like 2.5D. So to actually have something stacking on top of each other uh, isn't really something it's built to do so it has to trick you into actually making it work um, so we kind of did that here maybe there was a better way of doing it maybe but we didn't do that we we went over and we made this a room over room so if we turn this into the 2d mode you'll see that it's got a little uh, sorry side view mode oh and I'm gonna have a keyboard here just so to uh, help out with key commands for people. Not that I necessarily know what I'm doing myself. Uh, is this is actually on top? And what we're kind of using as a inspiration here for this is this guy. I'm gonna plop open this. this so this is our little mood board that we built based on a 90s mall not a specific one this is actually various 90s malls uh, to really capture the aesthetic because if uh, for Duke Nukem 3d in my mind it's got to merge that 90s because it's made in the 90s uh, plus a little futurism so we're gonna sprinkle that in so the, the one thing I was thinking about when we did, um, we built this last week is there was this elevator here. Right, right here. Where I, I like the look of this. But I also don't. We saw, we played a map, um, was it, we, I think we played a few maps that actually, this, uh, some machine had a, uh, by Ledsborn had a elevator that kind of looked like this, not aesthetically, but in terms of you could see underneath and above it. And, um, last pissed time, um, who was the author who made that? I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head, but, uh, they also had one that was like this. I don't know if I'm. I know how to do that quite yet because I don't think theirs was a a sprite like there was sprites but I, I thought I don't know if it was like a sector over sector thing or something else because I'm pretty sure I can 
quickly remember or figure out how to do an elevator, just a traditional elevator that goes up and down. But I kind of like this look, but if I'm not ready to quite do that, and the irony is my solution to this is to do something I'm also not quite ready is, how about we, we could still build that to have that visual, but it would blow up. So I was thinking what we could do, let me let me whip out some very fancy high high tech software here, um, so that you guys can, can visualize what I'm seeing. I, I could just build this in uh, in Mapster, but I, I kind of just to quickly jot this down. I don't know if this is cheating for 60 minutes of streaming, if, uh, sorry, of mapping, if I also do some pre work in advance with you guys. So let me, let me quickly add this guy. Let me add a window capture. That's exactly what I want. Wow, that's great. Okay, reset here. So, so this is this is what I was thinking, All right? So we have like a we have this weird elevator. Now follow along with me. Let's, this is this is the this is the floor, right? So here's your little elevator, and you have your spots. So the Duke would have to go on like the second floor or whatever. So. Uh, to visualize, here is here is Duke Nukem. I am Duke Nukem. But he's got sunglasses on, so he's got sunglasses right here. And you kind of kind of got to put that here. Uh, yeah, it's Duke Nukem. Got a little little belt on here. He's got some pants. Got little boots. Um, this is very important for this process to, to work here. Got it. It's got beef and hack. Here's, here's his little jet pack. And he's like pew pew. He's got a gun. Uh, anyways, I don't know why it's maybe, maybe yeah more like that. And then this is his gun. Yeah. It's... <laughs> anyways, that's Duke Nukem. So here you go. There, there, there's Duke Nukem. And he has to get something on the second floor. We, we don't know what the plot is of this map yet. We're kind of we're going to kind of figure it out as we go, uh, as we tackle new problems. So since he has to get to the second floor, he would go obviously to use the elevator and he would go press the button here. And what would end up happening is uh, it would blow up and then it would collapse. So it will go boom, 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 fall down. So then that way I don't have to figure out how to make it like an actual functional elevator. I can just make it look like a cool set piece. That's probably way more complicated than actually just figuring out how to make an actual working elevator that I could see underneath. Um, but yeah, that, that's my thought process of, of what we would do with this guy specifically. Or something like this, because uh, I think we—I think there was another one too that we had. Anyways, that was my high-tech photo. I really had to take you on that journey with me. Um, what else do we have here? Let me let me take off studio mode just so I can kind of move this around a little bit more freely with you guys. Um, I'm just trying to see, because what we were thinking of possibly was this was a food court. Especially if I'm thinking this is the back entrance of where we're going. Oh, if I didn't tell you that, that's what I was thinking. This would be the back entrance, so not even like the main entrance. Um, 
and we would be kind of heading our way into the front of whatever this is. I'm thinking. I like the idea of also in the skybox if we had buildings sticking up because we could do that if it's true room over room. I could make little little set piece maquettes out of there. Um, maybe I'll block that out real quick too. Because depending on the mall, we could even show the second level in there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, guys. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that timer on here. This is all Duke Nukem inspired music, by the way. I've invented it. I haven't listened to it. So it's all a journey. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's throw that uh, countdown on there. I just have to, I might have to reset this actually. Uh, transform. Let's reset transform. Yeah, I want to reset that. But yeah, that's this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna reset this to. So we're gonna start building out the, I think the flow of the mall. Especially if we want to know, Duke is going to go, have to go into a, a store or something. Because I'm, I'm assuming what we're, is the aliens are themselves are trying to get stuff in this mall. Maybe repairs for a ship. I have this idea of um, Duke getting abducted. Not in this map, this is just a general idea. But maybe we connect the two. Uh, Duke getting abducted. And because he gets abducted, he fights in the alien ship, damages it enough where it starts to get so badly damaged, they, they spit him out. Like, they get rid of Duke. And he has done such irreparable harm to that spaceship that it starts to crash, and Duke has to go after the spaceship. Maybe we could fold that idea in here and this is where the aliens are going because they're like, okay, this is where we could get stuff to repair our ship, the mall. Yeah. I think that that's how, that's where we're going with this. Um, we could build a little outdoor part here. I just don't know how much of the mall itself we want. We want to start building a food court or do we want to start building some more stores out? There's so many possibilities we can go. Or we can just kind of flow with it right now. Like, I really do like the idea of doing this thing exploding. I, I don't, I'm not, we're not really building the centerpiece yet. I don't think so. Because especially with this, if we want to make it a bigger thing, this would just be a food court to me. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna reset the timer here. And then we'll get this party rolling. So there we go. So let's see what we want to do. Do studio mode for the future. Let me turn my, my things on here. Stream board three. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking if we do the only downside is I don't remember certain controls. 
So I'm just turning my gravity off. I want to go inside. This. And there's a way to block this off using this shade preview. I think it's... Um, you know what? Let's do it over here, actually. Let's do the test over here of what I'm thinking of. Just for this one section. I'm not going to really build out this skybox area that I, I'm, I'm planning, because I'm going to wait until we have more of a form of the mall. But for I know we won't really have mall over here. Like, at least high mall, where you'll see it above. It'll be over here. Because I'm thinking if it, just of a direction. I want a, just a line-ish direction. I did hand movements like you could see them. Um, I need up here. See where it's this black thing? This roar? That's your true room over room. Because we won't see out here. I want to deselect this, actually. What's the deselect? It's that. Okay, so that's selected. And then I think it's control... R? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Now, I don't know if this would mess it up, though. If I started building over here, maybe if I didn't, maybe if I gave it a little gap. Turn on, on our uh, grid size here. So I'm going to give this a little gap right here. Because what I want to build is going to be up here. Um, nope, that's not what I want to do. I broke something. Did I break something? What did I do? Oh no. Come on, guys. This sounds like more Shadow Warrior. Is this Shadow Warrior? This is Shadow Warrior. Give me a moment here. This is wrong. Well, that's because there, there's just a random Shadow Warrior. That's a very random choice, but okay. Look, I like Shadow Warrior. But we're not we're not working on Shadow Warrior. Um, where am I? Okay, I want it. I'm humming and hawing about it because I'm, I'm worried it's not going to work. But if it doesn't, I guess that's... Who cares? Now, I want to... Lock this off. Let's try this again. And then in my mind, I could do... Why? No! I don't want to do that! Why are you doing that? Why is it mo... What, 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 what is happening here? Why, why are you like this? Okay, okay. It looks okay so far. I still need this up, right? Yeah, because this is messing it up now. So I want this. To go. I want this. I think I want another lay. Why are you doing that? Uh, what is it? Controller. If 
feel like I'm doing something wrong and I'm not quite sure what it is yet. I know it's it's in regards to the camera. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed some chat. So hello, CK3D. Hello, High Treason. Hope everyone has a great weekend. I, uh, YouTube has this weird thing where it just stops working. Like, it's just like, yeah, I don't want to show you chat anymore, guys. What do you mean you want to chat with people? Um... I'm having a moment with the controls. This is why... What? Feels like I'm not... Something is not working. Like I'm pressing my... There we go. So what I was thinking of doing is this. I want to... I want to cut this in. But I want to lock... How do I hide the... I thought that's what I was doing. What am I doing wrong? Chat. On one machine, audio plays, but video freezes only random note from us. Our refresh gets it back. It's weird. It's just weird. I'm trying to do... I'm trying to hide the sector here. I guess I kind of did it right now. Um, so let's gray this out. And I want to add this. What do you mean I can't do that? What do you mean points not inserted? Right, whatever. Let's just see if this works, I guess. Maybe, maybe this will be fine. Okay, so I want this here. And what we would do is we would raise this. raise this right 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 okay okay and slope it maybe do we want to slope it no we don't have to slope it we can do this Or is this breaking it? What if you put the parallax sky on the floor also? What does that do? Why would I do that? You're not like I'm not you're not gonna be going up here, I don't think. Right now I'm just thinking uh I wanted to play around with the idea of uh the visual of I, I can't I'm so upset I don't remember off the top of my head how to quickly do this I'm like not confident in my buttons for uh, graying out areas and drawer I thought I had it I thought I did what, what is it uh, with the sector split, it should make the walls vanish. Thought you wanted to happen. Um, no, I don't want the. W oh, no, no. Is that what that does? No, no. I don't know if that's what I want to do. That might actually be a solution, though. But that's not what I was trying to do. In my primitive brain. My primitive brain was trying to do this. I'm so frustrated with my buttons. It's not even that I'm pressing the 
buttons and they're not working. It's, uh... I just wanna, I wanna gray, I wanna... Yeah. What's happening here? Why is this like this? What, what why is this one like this? Maybe I should have watched that tutorial before I did this. Anyways, the thought process was this was just going to be a building, right? Like, so that you'd walk by and you'd be like, I could have a little diorama. I, I can do it, but I, I, it's a wasting. I can do it, but I don't want to spend the entire hour just making it look right when I know it's it's just a concept. Um. It's the gray outs I'm not comfortable with. I'm not I'm not confident in how this stuff works. But anyways. What this? Cuz you're saying if I do no What I'm what I'm trying to do is use this. Why can't I choose this? Okay, can I choose it now? Oh, now I can't. Like, that's what I was having trouble with. I, I just couldn't choose it. So if I do this, I want to parallax that. Do I? Do I? Let's reset. Oh, don't worry. I'm like haphazardly randomly making all this up. Um, I'm trying to see if I can make a... Maybe the issue is doing it this way. Maybe I actually have to make a box. I want these, what, I, what I'm thinking is I want just this to be visible. Like this, I would like to be parallaxed. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of what I want. I want that to be I want these walls to be parallaxed. That's what I'm trying to do. Is... Because this would be your building. So if we're going to open the texture guy here. And we're going to throw just... Where's this city one? I guess it doesn't have to be. I, I can actually use an actual building here. Let's, let's see what sprites we have for a building. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to shrink this. But for now we're going to... We need to make it look like a like a miniature. Right? So that, that's what I'm thinking. And then this would be I don't know how to do that. Like, it's almost like I have to make this an actual little guy.
God, why is that like that? Oh my God. Right, so that's what I'm thinking about trying to do. I'm trying to make it a little, so when you're walking by, you'd have a, in the distance, you'd see the, the buildings. This perspective is way off because that, that doesn't look quite miniature enough. I think it would look better once we have um, that parallaxed, right? There's a button to switch. Give me a second here. I got. I got to whip out the wiki here. Um, Duke Nukem. It's E Duke Thirty Two. Um, Tror camera like. Tr Control A. Oh, is that what I was doing? I was doing the wrong button? Or was that in side view? Okay, invisible. Okay, give me a second. Control E. No, that's not what I want. Toggle gray out. I think that's what I want. I think I want Control A. And I was doing Control like R or something. That's what I might have been doing wrong. Yep, I was, I was pressing the wrong button here. Who knows what kind of damage I did. Well, I can tell you I did this. Okay, and then I can page out. up in here how do I do this how do I get to this layer how do I get to that layer because I have this guy so You can tell how, how how poor I am. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go up. Um, so you're saying if I parallax this, I could lower it then? I would like to go in here. Now, maybe if I'm pressing the right buttons now, I can do it. I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Parallax that. No. Just renew this again, just in case it's doing something weird. I want to...
trying to make LODs. Kind of, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. The bounding wall should draw that case due to both sectors having the plaques. But I'm just trying to... I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I'm trying... Like, if I do... I guess I shouldn't be upset if it doesn't work, because this is an experiment. Like, th this is me having no idea what I'm doing right now. I just... I want to... I want to see how this would work. But like I'd like I'd like to not is the only way if I do it like this and lower that so wouldn't that get rid of this wall yeah see then that gets rid of that wall and I don't want that I just want this to not be there. I want that to be parallaxed. But you can't parallax a wall. So how would I parallax that? And you're saying if I parallax the floor, that that's parallax, but that's not what's happening here. Instead of splitting the existing sector, draw a new sector connected behind it. So you're thinking about like actually making this a weird little 3D space. So instead it would be, um, ignore my weird way of doing this. This one I want. We're gonna go up here. Sorry, I, I'm mentally in my brain thinking about what I'm doing and, and instead of just doing it to show you guys, which is probably not as exciting, but I, like I'm, I'm processing what Toilet Duck's saying where we want this a separate sector, but I, do I have to go as far as maybe even making this a separate sector? Because maybe my brain's not thinking in build yet today where because then I know I can do I thought there was a way to warp up and down between layers 
and I, I, I can't, I can't for the life of me think about what it is. Like I'd like to put him on here. I'd like to, I'd like you to go up, but I don't know how to do that. Is it the control? Alt up, like. How do I get you into a different layer? Is that it? How to change clipping mode in 3D mode so you can fly through solid objects and such. Yeah, yeah isn't it control N? Clipping mode for non-masks. Okay. How do I turn clipping mode for clipping disabled? Is that what I do? Oh. Oh, that would have that would makes my life so much easier. Oh my god. Thank you so much. That's all I was after. Everything was so frustrating trying to move around there. Um, so there's a little, little nip there. I don't. Why is that like that? There we go. Um, okay, so this is what I'm. This is what I'm talking about here. Where. I'd like to just work in this area, and I know I can. this yeah yeah okay 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 this is now we're cooking with gas um so this is what i was thinking here and then the way you guys are saying it is i can lower this guy this is how i'm thinking of what, what, what you're telling me Turn clipping on right now, just so I don't fall through. So I want to lower this, or you're saying if I parallax this as well? Okay. So that's what I'm thinking. That's how I'm interpreting what you guys are saying. Just be ready to, for the frame rate to go down to the toy if you move into null space in that mode. Because you won't snap to sectors when placing the arrow in 2D mode. Jeez. I don't know if my brain's ready yet. Alright. So this is what, this is what I, I'm, I'm interpreting as what you guys are saying. The only downside is, like, it feels like I have to make such a big... I guess it wouldn't matter if if this is, this is big. I'll clean up the, uh, whatever this is. Like, I'll, I'll try to get as many little walls used as possible. I guess I could make these triangles, too. You're not going to see the sides of some of them. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, do that, do that. Let's do another one here. I'll make this one a sector one uh what is it control f no no am I, am I an idiot here today I think, what, what am i oh all tests i'm just pressing the wrong button okay so i want to do this but i want to make this one a little different looking just to spice it up just to spice it up 
for this experiment. Have you looked at vanilla Duke maps in the editor to see how stuff was set up? Never. No. I, that's a lie. I think I opened up Hollywood Holocaust once. Holocaust? Hollywood Holocaust? I did that once. And, uh... That was it. Now this, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll delete this one. And I'll make this a first wall. This a first wall, this a first wall, and this a first wall. And I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually, I probably don't even have to do the back one. Yeah, these aren't the same proportions, so we're not getting accurate. This is four and that's five. So we want to make this a four as well. And we'll reset these guys. How much of the skylight scenery do you expect the player to be able to see? Right now, we I'm probably maybe not. We, I don't even know how much of this I'm going to keep. Two, three, four, five. I just wanted to see what it would look like. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. This is, this is truly a, an experiment. Do some brown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just trying to do this for uh I have a feeling if this actually works out, like just in terms of the scenery aspect, I'll probably end up doing redoing all the buildings anyways. With uh more thought and process into it. Let's throw that there. I just want one more city. And then I'll just shuffle these around a little bit to get a, a good distance of perspective because that's the only thing I think is going to mess me up a little bit more. Uh, where did this guy go? Which one do I want? We could even do that as a... Especially if you see it in the background. Looking. 
Yeah, that kind of looks. That kind of like... I could bring it a little closer, I feel, and we would have a... better visual for them. Come here, guys. Like, that's a little too close, I feel, but I think we might have to go um, a little bit higher, maybe. Higher and a little bit further back, and we might be pretty, pretty good with, uh, with this option here. Because right now it still looks like it's just on top of this building, and I don't want it to be on top of this building. So I think we need a little bit height to get a little bit more distance here. I like how I wasn't even going to do this. This wasn't even what I was going to do. I was going to start building out more of the mall. But I just wanted to see, now that we had the skylight, like, could we do this? Could we? Um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's just... Since we're here, I don't know if this is extremely excessive. Uh, let's go. Uh, can I unparallax the sky for a minute so I can just visually see what I'm doing? What happens if I just raise this? I'm assuming it would be eventually cut off, yeah. So I want this to be higher, I'm guessing. I'll do that, and then we'll play with everything else. I feel like I'm definitely breaking something here. Something's definitely going wrong. I am terribly worried I'm doing something wrong. not parallax now or do I have to parallax this do I have to parallax this or what, what 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 is going on here why why are you like this why are you what happened what happened 
right here. shade preview on that's why Maybe I should do, should I try editing in this mode? Like, yeah, something, something is wrong with w w like, where, why are you not connected? Right? Like, why is this not connected? I did a, I did a mess here. I might have to reconnect this and redo this. Cause I was pressing too many wrong buttons, but, uh, Maybe, maybe I'm not. Yeah, that looks better as a as a Yeah. That's a good point. Maybe we should do that. We'll we'll do 4 2, we'll call it. Just in case. So this is this is where I'm thinking, but I don't know why now why aren't these guys parallaxed? It's like they're not part of the same crew anymore. Um, they are not part of the same crew. I think it's because of, I think it's because this was supposed to be lower. Yeah, that's what it, what's wrong here is we really just need these to be sectors. We can't have them being um, uh, these guys. It's just not working. But then if we lower this, wouldn't this lower the building size? Okay. Odd. Okay, why aren't you going up now? Okay, there we go.
Now, the only thing that I, I'd obviously be concerned about is if you're going from over here, so you won't see these buildings because they're going to get cut off unless I join these two drawer sectors. But I think, to be honest, I might overcome that by just making it so you can't go past a certain point. Like, maybe you would have, um, if this is a food court, like the food court area would start here, so you'd never really get a good angle at this, this view. I could just join them too, but... Uh, I think for an experiment in terms of does this work, uh, we have determined it does. Right? And if we wanted to, we had that, you did have that idea, we could add little, <laughs> little sprite guys. Um, how much time do we have? 12 minutes? Okay. Because I, I don't have really time to build a whole section, but I, I think it might be... I could do the one thing I'm kind of good at, which is building stuff out of sprites. Um, oh, this might be hard to do. No, because the sector... Oh, I, you know what? I could do it by this. Uh, let's turn this on. Something enabled here. Oh, you're right. I, 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 so I do want to use glass tunnels. It is, uh, but I don't know if I, you're right. I could use it here. I could totally do it here. I was going to add a little fire escape though, but, um, I remember we had the offset issues, but since this is just background scenery, maybe we can get away with, uh, with not doing that. So I want this way, right? This. Twenty four, twenty four. We could actually, you know what, that might be easier to do instead of a whole, uh, one of these. What I'm doing is I'm joining these sectors together to get rid of them. Um, next stream, I'm definitely going to make sure I have time to read up on some of my quickies so that I, I don't feel like I'm just fumbling around for so long. But I think what I'm going to do is this. We're gonna do that, that the uh, tunnel. We're gonna do a tunnel of some kind. I'm gonna bring this a little closer just so I can play around with the shape of it. Let's crack open the big grid for this guy.
We're gonna make these two, two by two, so a little beefy. Uh, and then I would like to go Man, that clipping thing is so handy. Oh, oh. That's frustrating. do is I want to turn this. I want to make this one lower. And we'll change this into a different texture here. Just for fun. The YouTube little icon in the corner of chat is so no Oh, you the emoticon? I agree, because I use this as, like, I use it on my phone to see chat, and I, it's always in my way. It is always in my way. That would make so much building, so many things that I could build way easier. Um, I just want to quickly... Is there any, like... Outside ones. I don't look like there's a ton of building sprite additions. this to be the main focus here so we'll do this oops stop rotating bring this guy down uh, copy that I think we might want to do these smaller just to sell the miniature illusion so let's drop it down to 32 by 32. And that should fit one, yeah, two blocks here. And then we can copy that. It's amazing how many little tips and tricks there are still to learn in something like this. Uh, I want to copy that and I'll paste it here. Because now we want.
past here, past here. Do one there. Where are you going? I wonder where it goes. Boom. And then, go up here. Now, I don't know if we need to do the back layer. We might because it's going to be see-through, right? So if we do uh, not invisible, uh, we want to do transparent. Yeah, we might actually have to do it just because I think it'll add the, the depth it needs. So here's what we'll do. We'll delete this. I have an, there's one other thing I'm gonna do to sell this illusion. Again, we can always come back and refine it afterwards. There is a way to lock this, I know, so I don't flip between layers all the time, but I just don't what it is off the top of my head. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Nothing I do is planned. Nothing. Where am I? Okay, this, this should make it actually easier to work now. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, so it turns out if I compl combine no clipping with uh, this technique, like hiding the sectors here, way easier to work now. Um, in theory. Okay, we're gonna drop these down here. Actually, let's deselect. Yeah, it's deselected now. I'm gonna highlight these. I'm gonna duplicate them. What time is it? Mission complete. Okay, technically we're done, but I'm gonna just add one real quick thing here just to sell this illusion a little bit more.
guess, yeah, that's true. That's kind of one of the things, too, is when I was browsing around YouTube, I wanted to uh, find stuff out for myself. And, and there, while there is actually a fair amount of Mapster32 content, uh, really isn't as much as I was expecting or hoping for, so. Uh, can I just add... Where are the bibs? Where are the bibs? change her palette to black. What is black? Zero. Stuff with never ending repairs on the PC and does video. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff even I want to do, but I'm like, my computer just doesn't, doesn't like me enough. Laptop's just not powerful enough for what we're trying to do. Uh, let's shrink her down a little bit more. And we'll bring her up to the forefront. Cool. Okay, so I just want to move these buildings just to and then maybe shrink these, make these guys a little, little thinner. That might be a little little too thin. Yeah, so we'll go one grid size up and plop this. Yeah, it's a little too much. See, obviously that's the the cutoff is the issue, but I think that's good enough. At least for a proof of concept to see what we could do. I think that works out fine. So let's let's take a look at that in game here.
So we go for a little swim. Pop out here. And then we'll have to do something up here. There we go up here. So there's our little buildings. In a perfect world, I would do. I have to have little people running back and forth. Maybe, maybe I could do something like that. But again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this little scenery box, sky box thing, um, until I'm confident of like what the mall is going to be. This was really a weird distraction just to see if this this effect would work the way I wanted it to, and it, it kind of does. It does. So I'm kind of happy with it. Oh, I, I guess you're right. I guess I should switch back to uh, Duke 3. <laughs> Duke 3. Give me a second here. There we go. There we go. I even saw that on my screen. And I thought it was just my phone. I'm like, oh yeah, it'll, maybe I'm just a little leg behind. Little, so here we go. Yeah. We've got this guy. There's that guy in there. We swim. We go for a little swim here. We pop out of here so far. I still think I'm going to put a weird secret in there. This guy can hang out here. Let's de -encrone. Oh, actually, I already have it on. And then we have our, our little, little guy here. Which I it's okay. I think conceptually knowing it works now, I would I could redo this a lot faster, I think. Um and a lot better. Definitely fix those buildings up. I would add maybe an extra little layer to um something like this. I do like that garage. I think that does work. But maybe if I made an extra dip and, and made this uh bricks, for example. We could put a little ledge on here, but instead of going up, go down a little bit just to have a little over arc so it's just not a, a straight pillar up. I still think maybe we we could have maybe a few more little people in there. Um, and then figure out whether or not we want to connect some of these for visuals. But the idea, it works, especially if, so the plan would be we're going, think about it like a, just a, a hundred meter dash, if you will. We're going to go straight in, a, oh, I can't zoom out, that's why. Um, can I? Oh, yes, I can. So we'd go in a straight line this way throughout the mall. And what I'm thinking we would do is there would be like a mixed apartments because I want the elevator to be in a larger section. So maybe you would see a little preview of, of the building you're going to go into or the higher tier level of the mall through this glass in addition to the cityscapes. And then keep going through. Yeah. What I'm going to do with these side entrances is a different thing. Very too bizarre, yeah. There's a lot of fun you can do with that stuff though, right? Like, so even this view, you could, we had to see something like, I guess too bizarre is a good example of that where you kind of flash in between different versions of, of sectors. But yeah, you could have it where a thing completely changes just because the layer you're going into is different. There's a lot of cool creative flexibility I feel we could pull out of this engine just because of its limitations alone um, and how you can play with those tricks. Like that's half the fun of special effects in old movies to me is figuring out how they like duct tape solutions together. Um, which is why I, I, I do enjoy seeing stuff done with just stock assets and I love stuff with good custom assets as well. But when I see somebody just kind of Frankenstein stuff together with stock assets. It's like, yeah, you used everything and the kitchen sink to make that work. 
it just seems more fun. It's it's. Um, but yeah, I think that worked. I think that worked for a little experiment to see if we could do what we could do with true room of a room as a, an experiment to do sky boxes and stuff like that. That's cool. And we could set a mood with it. We'll we'll do a different layer of this. I figure what we'll do is as we go along, maybe we'll do sometimes we'll do little hyper detail stuff like this. But even then, I'm not even happy with this, uh, this fountain here. I think we're going to get just a general feel of the place as we go along. And then we can always do a detail pass as we move along. And by then, hopefully, I'll, I'll know all this keyboard shortcuts as well to like hide different layers like that clipping trip trick. Sorry, that that changed things. Combining that with Brawlov's ways, uh, his map add on that disconnects the selected layers in uh, 2D mode. I think that would make things a lot easier because the first 20 minutes of that 60 minute session was me just slamming into walls and ceilings for a while. Um, because I couldn't figure out how to navigate through the chore layers. Um, which is why Troar was always so intimidating to me too, is because I like I felt like I had no control over what I was drawing. Where like if I'm just drawing stuff in on a flat plane in maps, plane a plane on Mapster, I can do it no problem. But once you add that second layer, it's just it if it, it's so cluttered. Uh, shaky grounds was vanilla. Yeah, shaky grounds is I get, I I always bring that's really what brought me back to Duke. Is when I saw a preview of that, I'm like, oh, Duke Nukem. Wow, someone's still making stuff for that. And, and meanwhile, people are still making stuff for like years. It's just that was something that just popped up on my my feed where where I wasn't as tuned in at the time. And then seeing what they did with that, like the, the example I give is in Shaky Grounds, there's a, a little tiny store or dry cleaning place. And the shirt is a flag, I think, and two receipts or pieces of paper that like float when you break stuff. Um, and he just combined them together to make a shirt that's hanging on a hanger. Brilliant. Um, but we even brought this up last time in world uh, when we were talking about, maybe it was last stream. We, we talked about world tour and how even world tour has this, it just feels disconnected from the original Duke. So new art's fine. It's just finding the tone. Either you, you, it's a hundred percent for what you're trying to create for that specific map or, or TC, or if you're trying to make it fit in, that's the harder part. Um, is if you want it to feel like it's a part of Duke 3D, like an expansion official one, that's where maybe you could argue world tour definitely did fail. Right. Well, in a lot of ways, but in terms of, the art not 100% matching the tone and, and feel of the original. If you mix up the uh, textures, in my opinion, you shouldn't be able to tell. Like they, they, they shouldn't feel wrong, if it makes sense. You should be able to combine. I can combine atomic textures with 1.3, and I feel they, they, they gel, right? Where I feel like if I took World Tour ones, I don't, I don't have them in here to know, but and I blended them into the atomic or or the original. They stand out a little bit more. There's a little bit too much contrast. The art style's exactly the same. But then again, you're traveling around the world. So who knows? Maybe that's a poor example. Depends on who you ask. That was a weird little tangent. So here, here we go. We have a little skybox here. I'm just taking some screens. Let me post some screens and then we're good.
using atomic art for, for the same reason. Really? Ash grab minus level or blow Ray Jackson who tried it. Right? It's just, it, it sucks because you, World Tour, there's a lot of stuff I, I get feel like I'm a repeat with it but it's I do like things about world tour I think conceptually the idea of Duke going around the world is fun and I do like the uh, bigger levels especially since for me that was like the first time experiencing it I do conceptually like the idea of adding the lighting effects even if it's something you could toggle on and off and I think world tour unfortunately you feel like you need them on and they relied on it too much but it's uh it's yeah, higher res. It's just something. Something is a little. Uh, definitely, if, if, if they had more time, I guess they wanted to make that 25th anniversary, but maybe they should have waited a little longer, you know? Because now, what's, what are they going to do? Like, I feel like you're never going to get another re release for Duke 3D. You could argue maybe you shouldn't get another re release for Duke 3D because it was 500 of them. But I still feel like we haven't really got now a, a complete edition because world tour just now separates everything and adds another thing that you might be missing down the road right so it's uh it's a little bit of a little mess um let's post this That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to click a button to to click a link. Need a voxel duke. Yeah, I take a voxel duke. I'll take voxels anything, just as options. I like sprites and voxels, so I feel like you should always have both. Well, I shouldn't say always. Just, I like the option. That's the hope. You play World Tour and you're like, oh, I do like Duke still. Like, I think this was fun. Is there more? Yes, there's more. You have some expansions. You have some other stuff. You can redo the visuals. There's all these user maps. Um, did World Tour even have user map support? Uh, what do you call that uh, uh, glass? What is it called? What is the glass? Skylight? Sky.
Uh, more inclined to map for 1.3D than the Finding Nemo tour. Sorry, I'm trying to make something fit in a small number of words. Uh, Skylar, we built last week. We Uh, perspective. There we go. From my standpoint, watching everyone map for YouTube sucks. From my standpoint, watching it's true. It's like, uh, locking maps out of time. Seeing people switched to mapping for World Tour and locking maps out of Eduke due to three wall textures. Uh, world Tour and locking maps out of three wall textures sucked. Matt, from my standpoint, watching from map for Eduke sucks. Why is that? What do you mean by that? Clarify your statement. That's safe. Okay. Sorry, I had to get out of there. Uh, okay, so what's going to happen here is I'm still going to be in chat. I'm going to do my brief little break to grab a refreshment here. Uh, if you need to use the bathroom, you need to use the bathroom. I'm going to go outside as well and grab maybe a quick little jolt of an energy drink. Um, maybe. I still have one here, so maybe I'll just drink this one. Compatibility talk. Oh, compatible. I, yeah. Again, that's kind of why th I wish there was just one singular thing, even if it's updated. That's why I, I kind of focus only on Eduke, even though I know there's like Rays and other stuff too, is, is just because you can kind of separate 
too much. And it, it, it gets very hard. It's already hard sometimes with eDuke with all the different compatibility issues. Um, I, I didn't know, I really didn't know World Tour even had maps exclusively made for it. Like, did it even have a, was it a different level editor? Did it even have a level editor? No, listen. We're all creatures of nature. No freedoms outside. I should put my little BRB screen on. I feel I feel so out of it today, and I don't. I don't even feel like I really slept that bad. I think it's because I took melatonin, and uh, I was so tired already. I really should have taken melatonin, and that was like at two o'clock in the morning, and so like my time. And so I woke up so drowsy. It took me so long to get get kind of into the into the zone of things today. I guess, I guess I should transition this. I'll be right back. Five minutes. Maybe ten at most. Okay. Guard the place. Don't get messed up.
I'm not back yet, but I know I'm gonna forget. I don't take a... Wow. Zero hour soundtrack is wild.
I um, do also like the echo to a certain degree. Yeah. I just think as a concept that like unlimited echo, but as you kind of mentioned, for a short period of time, it does work in changing the effect enough that it feels like something new. I guess a new word. So I didn't like I didn't even hate it conceptually, but I I do wonder because you mentioned it's not supposed to work like that. How it was actually supposed to be intended then? But again, that's a. Uh, that's an eduk issue. I, I don't know. Oh my god, no cat, why? Move your feet. Move your little feet. If you can't you stop it, that's my hand. You can't come in here and cause chaos like this. It's uncalled for. Cats, man. Hey, just stop eating stuff. No, 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 no. This is why you're not allowed up here. You're a menace. You're a menace. You're a menace. Oh, stop it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move you. Hee hee. What a god. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna replay Duke card as I try to find like a more accurate E Duke version for it. I was doing it the other. Actually, I should bring this up too. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Sorry, I'm trying to switch something while my cat tries to eye my life. Stop it. Bite you. Jesus. Stop it. My God. I want to move you. I swear to God. I know you're going to just jump right back. Stop it. Oh my god. She's... My cat's like licking my hand. Uncalled for. I'm trying to do work here. I'm trying to do business. I'm trying to move screens. Okay, here we go. Am I missing something? Be in water was mostly just to pitch the sound down. I think I'm missing like one thing here. Move slower. Stop it. With conveyed the pocket dimension idea a little. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was a good use of the echo effect and dimension shift. I did like that. That was a neat way of making a new boss. Right? I, got, I think there was like one more odd little experiment one I found that I haven't downloaded yet. But I, I, I did mow my lawn the other day. Um, but if I'm missing one, let me know, because I feel like I gotta find it still. Let's go to the read me for this guy. Wait, that's well, a short little, short little soundtrack there for zero hour. Oprah. Okay, guys, here we go. Lunar Apocalypse 3072. I'm going to grab some water, Kiki, so maybe you'll leave in the meantime while I read this. 
a C K three D. I guess I should say like and subscribe. I'm supposed to do that. Intended experiences on come get some. Okay, good. That's you know my default. I did notice like a, maybe it was just because high treason you don't really do it, but there's a I feel like not a lot of people set difficulty settings, which I'm also okay with. I noticed that. Um, yeah, I only got to see the beginning area. I think I saw a few behind the scenes stuff during its development too, for sure. Uh, bring up holodex. Ooh, holodex. I wonder what that's going to be used for. Like, I'd imagine if maybe we're doing it for. Unless I'm misinterpreting the loop effect, I wonder if it's for like moving scenery. <clears throat> Got some new, new music. New graphics? No. Secrets. Oh, somebody put secrets. Notice that too. Nobody puts if there's secrets in their maps on their thing. I'm just oh, I'm okay with it. Just have been trying to track them down and I have to open every single map individually sometimes. Okay, just save often is what I'm what I'm hearing here. Save often. What do we want? Some exceptional the polymost renderer, classic software is clean. So we want to use classic or software. Is that the preferred method? It's a bit wonky, but should be possible to walk. Okay. I think that's about it. Get a little slice of uh, history here. Let me turn off the music. Get my little e duke open. Oprah. I think it's because you can't see my setup, but there's like, a, I have a light as you would in a room. Uh, but I have, it's like a desk lamp because my apartment lighting is rather terrible just for visually seeing. Everything is just like a, a garbage yellow. Um, like that likes the heat of the slant, maybe, or she likes to be the center of attention. That's probably it. Uh, let me make sure my settings are all set up here. Not display. Classic is bug free for sure. Polymos is uh, buggy in one spot for people depending on the build. Uh, I don't remember what build I'm using. Actually, yes, I do. I am using. September's 2023 build. I don't think I've updated it since. So we'll, we'll do some classic. I think this is because this is the one that I have my uh, add-on for, for the key cards for middle HUD. Uh, I think, do I have... Was I taking screenshots in this? I was. All right, everybody. Put my other headphone on. Look, we should just be happy if I remember to save it all. Let's just say that. Trying to see if I can experimenting with new setups for my equipment here to make the process of switching in and out between my work stuff and uh, my like personal time computer more sufficient. The goal is eventually when I decide to get a physical PC 
just checking the audio real quick. Um, I won't have to switch ever again. It, I'll have just like a toggle switch and I, I would just switch monitors. Well, not physically. It would just toggle between PCs. But by work, they gave me a really stupid proprietary cable that's required for the monitor and it's trying to figure out one that will work for that. Such a stupid thing. Switch over here, you got this working. One tip, the babe's dying is punitive. Oh, my sound's not on. Oh, wait, no. Um, so it's kind of like... But you can't save them, I'm assuming. It's, it's not like simple times or simpler times. You just don't want them to die. In general, I never really want them to die. My goal is for them to all live in general. I feel like that's just the Duke way. You hear that, Duke Nukem Forever? Okay, I gotta get my uh, bearings, though. Get my Duke bearings. Get some saves going. Oprah. If uh, the song gets weird at all, let me know. Either volume wise. So I'm always afraid if I knock at something, it's going to go weird with it. Oh, we're here. Who wants some? Got 11 secrets. Interesting. So this is pretty much as far as I went, and I went outside. I know clipped outside for my screenshot. And that's, that's pretty much where we went. <clears throat> Got a little... What's that going on out there? I like that ship flying around. Cool little ambience there. Nobody steals our chicks and lives. For context, Lunar Apocalypse is my least played episode of the original for sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did read that. <coughs> oh, I didn't even get a swig of my water. That cat distracted me. I'm terrible at drinking water. It's in general. Thunderstorm warning has been issued. Thunder hey. Alien scum de- Hey, like this. Look at that. Space under attack. Alien scum demonstrates in- uh, you respect uh, boundaries. Again, uh, it's just flashing. It's messing with my brain. Uh, again, as orbital U.S. government operated weather station Tiberius has just trespassed once more. AI journalism oh, generates. Uh, what's worse, it continues, the belligerent appear to be the same as last time. You'd think they would learn instead of repeating the same organic mistakes over and over. Uh, KTIT affiliate and uh, number one turbo action man Duke Nukem reportedly already volunteered to intervene. They can keep the dough, he muttered, though his trademark smug grin whilst readying... <laughs> Is this actually AI generated? <laughs> to depart, uh, I'm doing this for the fun, the love, the action. <laughs> what would a man be with no babes? When asked about his insistence to keep the Sky Car after his mission as long as the state would cover insurance, Nukem declined to come. 
become sponsor elect at Christmas. Electrocyte de France. Source Wikipedia.org. Nice, nice. Undercover operative archives. Nice. Is there any more? It's me generated? Definitely you generated. I'm glad that that's, you know, just here for anybody to read. Just walking down. Yeah, let's read about the news. The new Come here. Not playing your game. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. I was worried he couldn't come. Here, to me. I'm sure he's more than capable. Being a strong... Alien. Come here. Come here. Got to get some good use out of these because we're never going to see them again, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, no, we're not. We're not quite. Come here. Come here. Drop down. Come play. Don't be shy. Oh no, are you stuck? Oh, you can't come here? Oh, that's terrible. Alright, fine. We'll find somebody else. We'll find another lucky contestant. Got a lot of lot of items here. Uh, I gotta I gotta kind of use some other stuff. Otherwise, I'll be I'll leave those for somebody else. Um, probably myself. I'll run back into them. Um, let's take out this. It's a very good big room. Um, I always feel like when I try to make something big in terms of scale, I I feel the textures just feel too wrong, like too either repeating or too stretched out. Uh, but you have a good sense of making big things. Oh, I thought that was a person. That's a button. Like you break it up just enough here, that that little these little lines. He would have been great contestant for the trip mine show, but no. Okay, I uh, just thinking if we would have some secrets up here. Like if I jump up there, there's just an item, right? Um, because we're jumping on crates, I'm wondering if we got some secrets on some crates going on here. I can't tell who that is. Do we have any more? Oh, it's it's that. You blend it in so well. Um you know, I don't I don't see any items up there though. I'm up this getting a feel for the scenery. A lot of weird texture matches around the room when you analyze them. Well, that's what I'm saying, like... It's a good use of palette swaps for these. To separate individual kind of sectors, I'm, I'm feeling like, or wings. Yeah. Yeah, definitely these cuts here. Like, I always love adding, like, just a little border. Even just sidewalks, stuff like that. When building. Oh, this is nice. Is this actual water? Oh, okay. Just want to try interacting with some walls. More atomic. We got some sprites here, so we got a lot of. I like sprite bridges; they're nice. I jump up here. Oh no, no, oh, not quite. Oh god. 
didn't quite want to fall yet. Uh, I think I like. The, I still feel like there's maybe something to do with a with a box. I'm not. I'm not lost, by the way. I'm just. Oh. Am I hitting him? Remember to save too. I'm trying to. I'm trying to time. Oh, something hit him. he hitting himself? That would also work, but... Oh, that... Right when I get it. Right when I get it, you know. What a waste of ammo. I don't use the freezer that often, though. Like, what do I like it for? Uh, assault... What are those things? The drones? Boxes are elevators. You can manipulate. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I'm ready for this room. Let's go. This is why I know I can never do... Well, maybe I could. Like, I could never do speedrunning because I'm like, no, I've got to go look at everything. But I guess speedrunning is... I beat the level. And now I'm mastering it. So maybe. Here. Wait, no, 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 no. No, no, no. There we go. We can do these. What's that? Okay. This is just this that goes up. Interesting. Oh, and this is all a conveyor belt. Okay. So I think that's it for now in this room specifically. This one has something underneath it, looks like. that on top I'm probably overthinking what that is all right let's go did we go down this one already just choose oh we can't let's not go down that one uh, I want to use that these are faster ammo. It's a pretty big map, so it's daunting. It's daunting. I wanna... That's the way we came through, so we'll go... And then this is the way we're trying to go, so let's go that way. Nope, this was not the way we were trying to go, but I'll take that. How did I miss that? There's nothing up there. No.
never know where there's going to be like a weird jumping secret. Oh, yeah, we've got to grab more of these bad boys. Oh, this is a perfect room for these guys. Oh, look at that. Uh, you ever watched Dauschwitz, uh Spaced Run? Oh man, I've seen some... Uh, I've just even seen some of like Radar's Let's Plays of maps after I've played them. I'm just like, oh my god. Granted, like, I can beat a map pretty fast once I actually know where I'm going. It's just for the first time, I find. I really like to... It's like I'm going hiking. But in the video game. Oh, geez, I did not realize that was there. That was a terrible mistake. I know I have, uh, I have health. I actually want to switch my shortcut key. I have it on my middle mouse button, but I don't want it there. Uh, I would like this to be none, and I would like... What has alt fire? I want this to be my med kit. Where is Medikit? There we go. The 3D runner is amazing. King Marvel. Just give me a second. I want to write that down. Because I, I would be interested in looking at some, some streams. King Mamba. Otherwise, like, I'm very limiting streams, uh, or sorry, speed runs from random videos I come across. I almost fell down there again. Um, or Carl Yost. Grab some of that. I didn't really think we would have to deal with water in space. Like, is there something down there? Oh, there's water. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, hello. Who's doing that? Oh. Guess you would need water in space, though, but hate speedering to where I began implementing means to stop such nonsense in my you can have a very passionate response about it as well. Ever since they introduced part times, though, I was just like, I guess, could you beat it? But I am more interested in it when people do it 100%. And, uh, I didn't try to go in there. I didn't think you could. It might just be for a visual, which I do like. I'm assuming that's the conveyor belt trip. <coughs> um,. Our times, it's, it's just wow. Because I can't mentally think about that. Yet, I'm not a big fan of Call of Duty stuff when I'm like seeing people run around, but that's because it's multiplayer. I think I'm okay with single player stuff. So, there's these buttons. We will click them, they will do something.
Unlocked it. Let's save. Now what did we unlock? Where are we? Oh, people knew how to do it in the 90s, but the focus was enjoying a game instead of finding ways to half our uh, Yeah, I'm not... That's why it's like glitchless speedruns are kind of my, my preference for a speedrun. Because I would like to feel... Incubator. Now, because Lunar Apocalypse is the one I have the least affiliation with... Some of the references are going to be hard to, to pull from. Like, the room with the scuba gear, and I got the scuba, I'm assuming that's the room where you also go in water in, in that one, so I guess that would be that. I don't know if I'm ready to go through the blue door yet. Like, I, I know I could, but I didn't. Even, I feel like I haven't even seen half of what is unlocked. No? Excuse me, I'm trying to deal with your bigger brother here. Like, you see I'm busy? I have six. Where am I gonna put this? Where am I gonna put this? Come here. Yeah, okay. Uh, here's the map and the map is wildly different from the it's not from the original. It's gotta be a uh... mm. so was there more up top that we missed? Was the elevator Was the elevator you just took you unlocked? I'm, I'm assuming it was. I did a... Uh... I'm assuming it was. I, I clicked a bunch of buttons and it said something was unlocked. I don't know what it unlocked. I'm assuming... I haven't, I haven't quite figured out how things are connected yet. I want to go back to this room. This room. I want to go up top again because I just feel like I'm missing something up there. So I want to do a double check up there. I fall down there. I wonder what is down there. I want to just check. Let's do a check. Okay, so I just fall into here. And this, we clicked a bunch of stuff here. This is incubator. <coughs> this was... This was the water it's for the blue key card. Anything else in here? No. Maybe that is it. Maybe that's it. down the doors next but there's more on top and a secret but only jetpack accessible okay so I gotta wait for a jetpack anyways yeah because there's other places I definitely would check if I had a jetpack myself 
So let's go blue it, it hello. Look at this. I like how bright it is too, actually. Very colorful. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. Shit. Yeah. So there's our little transport there. Uh, chat GPT idle mode. Intruder ID complete. Death Star estimated warp factor for 20. You are here. Incubator supervisor out. Screw this gig. I'm out. Just found the perfect device for collecting all of the sports almanacs. Still traveling through time. Some more. Okay. Is this one different? Mm. Interact with that. So these are little seats. Do I need a new blue key card for this? I do. Okay, so we have multiple key cards. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, do we want. What's this one? What's this one? What's this guy? Is that the incubator, I guess? Oh, look at that. A little dipper. Or a big dipper. One of them. It's a dip in something. Oh, there's a little satellite out there. Spaceship. Oh, okay, these ones are slightly cracked. A lot of pistol in. Oh, finally, shotgun. Okay, babes are up. Saving the babes is up. I did it pretty good. Let's grab some items. Stock up where I can. Okay, what is that? Secured area. Okay, we're gonna hit that. That feels like a bad thing is gonna happen, so... <coughs> we'll hit that last. Is that all the items? Let me turn off this light, actually. Make it easier to see. Mm hmm. Okay. I just want to double check anything in here. Get some ammo. Grab that. Ammo. Oh, I like that little shotgun. What? Shopping cart. Nice. Take this. Uh, let's. What's this do? I 
I like this. This is nice. Very atmospheric. Just in case, you never know. Nice. First secret. Alright, let's hit that button. I hope. I'm taking these all in the face because I feel like a failure at, at this moment. I feel like I did, like, wait, wait. I just want to understand what I did here. Because that means you guys are going to die. So what does this do? Because I can get up there for the jetpack. Alright, let's ignore that for now. I don't, I don't... We'll get the secret. We'll take this elevator. Oh, we can't. Damn it. Can I save you? Alright, I guess I guess these are not the babes. Cause how else would I save them? No babes should die from the switch. That one died. She died right there. She's dead. <clears throat> the drones and can Well, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to stop the 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 canisters from exploding? How, how would I do that? Can I move them? Can I move you out of the way. Because this girl is going to die regardless. She's going to die. I can't save her. See? What? We're going to watch her die together. <laughs> she did. You know what? We're going to save her. We're going to save this lady. We're going to freeze her. We're going to cryogenically freeze her. And no, no, no kick her, dude. No. Do I have leeway? Do I have that? Because I think, I think this lady's going to die, too. Because there's one... I can't see these ones not dying, either. Okay, so she died. Okay, they're okay. Because that's the only thing that would, uh... She just starts blowing up, regardless of what happens.
Okay, I could have just kicked it. That's nice. really want to just like uh you know just like shoot so many rockets should be able to do it yeah that's i'm a precision explosives expert oh there's a lot there's a lot down there okay let's let's think this through a little bit more um temperature control Got some boots. Oh, that's... I don't know if I want to. Do I want to drop down there? We did it. Oh. Oh. Can I actually interact with this, actually? That feels like maybe a jetpack. So we can use this, at least. Ooh, where are you? Do this. This will make it easier to see. Oh, I should have waited. Oh. Oh, why'd I do that? Now we can wait. You're gonna make me fight a battle lord? Okay. Somebody died there. Somebody died there. I didn't even do that one. Come here. Okay, there's no babes here. Oh, I didn't even see him. He's so close. He's so close to one of them. Um, I'll save right here. I don't know if I can shoot him without... Yeah, she's gonna... Can I not save her? I just want to know if I can do it. The answer is yes. I heard a I heard a sentry drone though. Some pipe bombs. Uh, a little crack here. I don't know if that's something I want to use. Where is that one I'm hearing, though? Are they in there?
feel like there's one more. Okay, we're good. Got rid of those guys. Now we can finally get some items here. Is there anything useful we want? Uh, I think we got all the items back there. There's some RPG ammo, is that? Don't need that. Got a lot of pipe bombs. Maybe we should use those. I like how there's bubbles, so you know which ones you can go underneath, I feel. Is that a fat commander down there? Is that a is that little blob of fat commander? Cause I'm so I might want to shrink them, but I want to get rid of these guys, otherwise we'll just shrink them. Yeah, it is. Is there a battle lord? Like, I'd use the expander normally. The In this case, but. blow up these guys. Battle Lord is outside. Okay, so I could drop down there, and I feel like that's going to go into temperature control. So what did I do up here? What was the what was I doing up here? Like I got a I got a weapon. Which is handy. There's something else we had to do here. Like, what, what? What are these sections? What are you? Oh yeah, I did get a key. I did get a key. I don't know what where the red door is. So. Now we're 
back up here. We're doing good. I come back. Can't tell if that ship looks familiar to me. It's not when I need the red. There's some floating, floating men here. Oh, just one. I died. I did the, I did the thing where the space elevator killed me. Don't strafe on the space elevator. That's today's lesson. Jubilean. Do, I, do we have to make this? Hmm. Maybe we can make this. That'll be cool. Pepper. I'm a cook who sometimes imagines himself as a diplomat. Do this. planning to do, but... Some supplies going on here. Oh. I was the supply. Interesting. That's the corpse you got. Oh, that's so clever. 
some, some lore. Oh my god, the secret. Oh, that makes sense. It all comes together. I was wondering why the shopping cart was there. It was intended all along. This is a nice little uh, view of the that little warp tunnel thing. Not the warp tunnel. No. Where it shoots the rockets or beams out to fly in the Enterprise. Right. I like how it's... Oh, hello. It's kind of shaped like the Enterprise, too, you know? that shape going on and I do remember this being the Enterprise was present in Lunar Apocalypse so we got this where is this going sometimes the turrets blend in pretty well favorite asshole. Some fun lighting here. Okay, let's not go to the exterior airlock. I feel like that's the last place I want to go. You should always be careful in an airlock. I have so many pet bombs. I gotta use them. Um, okay, I got Look in here. The, we're really getting that weaving in. Like we're in a ship. Like the weaving in and out of a uh, head corridor is going up and down. Okay, so there's. Wait, we're back to the beginning. I thought we were on a higher level. Maybe we are. Secret. Let's grab that uh, RPG. Let's grab that, grab that. Do we? Oh, let's grab some more freeze. Hey. Oh, maybe I don't need it. Okay, let's do. Not this yet? Do we want to do that? Like, just... No. Oh, 
Oh, it's an airlock. When you see the button that's mar uh, marked as one time, wait till you are sure you should be using it. Okay. Double checking. This is cool. Teleport. What was this? The hollow deck? Okay, so don't use that. Or taunter one time. Don't use that. I like these little, little detailed buttons here. Yellow key. I'm teleporting around. Makes sense. Yeah, we are teleporting around. Okay. He, what dimension? Is he in? I just want to see. Is there any other items that we need, though? We got this. It down. Yeah, I'll get the. Sh Trying to get to the edges I haven't gotten to yet. Damn it. 
Steroids. Maybe he'll kill himself by the time I get to him. Maybe I go diagonal. Hmm. I can get kind of close. Can't I get to him? <laughs> Why is his square so mysterious? Is that intentional? Unlock him. Dead. Was it worth it? No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I should have just accepted my fate. Left. He didn't need to die. No, it opens that one. So we got the yellow key card, so we can hit the... Um, bridge. Oh, we didn't go in that warp factor. Let's go, go in there. I like how these guys actually, on higher difficulties, tell you where things are better. You pay attention to where they're hiding. Why are you hiding in there? That's, that's silly, dude. We're gonna die. He got stuck in just one annoying spot. He strategized, that's what he did. that mean? What is vent one and two? Oh, is this locked out? Can't go in there because of that? Oh, is that what that means? I did like that holodeck. It's uh, a neat idea without being like a. Uh, 
Interesting, okay. So let's go in here. Doesn't do anything. So we could use the yellow key card now. <coughs> Bear belt loops originally for the skies. Oh, that would be neat. Sure. Oh, I didn't want to drop down there. Oh, I heard that guy. Those are clipping. Nailed it. So I wonder where that battle lord went. So I'm not going to use that yet, because you said as when I'm absolutely ready. And I I don't know, like, you mean ready just for this section, or ready in general? Uh, okay, look. Okay, so you just get sucked up and die. Okay, nice. Fascinating. Is there anything else down here? I, no, I think that's it. one next to the button. Oh, there's a lot of dudes there now. Were they there before and I just didn't see them? Oh, is that where we can taunt the Borg? Is that why we want to taunt them? Let's do that. That's cool. I feel like maybe, I don't know if that was the best time or if that slowly gets bigger and bigger as time goes on. 
it would have been better to use it afterwards. So let's leave. Wait. How do I leave? I guess they're technically dead already. Well, I feel for you guys. Missing. I feel like I'm still missing a few things, but I can always run, do a little lapse back. Where did he come from? Got some water. Just look at the guy who just spontaneously combusts. Could I run up that? Could I run up that? Go back down now. We can always do it again if we need to. I like this room. Look at look at all the colors. Just jump, yeah. Jumping, jumping it glitches out the world. Yeah, there's that. Okay, there's that.
These are probably elevators. Let's not do the elevators yet. Let's do water. Let's see what we got going on under here. there. Should just use my uh, fishing techniques that I'm, I've mastered over the years. That's a lot of pipe bombs. Can I go on in here? Ah, okay, okay. Worth it for the screenshot alone. Oh no, no, I don't. I saved way back here? Jesus. Alright. That was terrible of me. Again, saving is always going to be my worst enemy. I never see sentries. I'm like, did I kill a babe and I just didn't know? Is that shooting through shrink ray? Oh, it is. Interesting, but why? Like why? Why shrink? Maybe it's not important.
Like, there's always going to be something else that can kill me. I just need to find it. Oh, I like that split. Maybe had steam coming off. Unless that's not lava. Oh, it is. Interesting. Okay, okay. Some room in the original episode, too. Okay, so we could go up there. I'm gonna save right here, because I feel like this is... Okay, yeah, I like this side weird thing going down. Ah. That could also go up. As good as sky fishing as like regular pipe bomb fishing. Get the job done. Oh, that was a. That was a bad one. So there was something down here. Besides these guys, oh my god. I'm so shocked that I'm like low on all my ammo. Well, probably not all of it, just stuff that I would commonly use in these scenarios. Uh, what about pistol ammo? Got pistol ammo? Okay, let's use that. Gotta... It's so accurate, but, you know, a little low damage. Could have come down here and grabbed that. That would have also worked. Okay. I keep forgetting I have steroids I can use. This one looks like it's shooting up, so this would have brought me up here. Okay. What the... What 
Well, when did he warp in? That was when I sat on the pressure plate there. No big deal. No big deal at all. Okay, I guess we'll hit this. That's three. I did see one, uh, like a switch near the bottom. It was underwater. I feel. I still think that shrink ray is supposed to be used for something here. Um. I think I want to go that way. You can check the uh, underwater section again, I think. Can we get back up there? No, we can't. Once we're down here, we're down here. Oh, that makes sense. I, I forgot about those ones. Yep. Alright, so let's clear out that section. Was not ready. Was not ready. Really, we're full in a freezer. Hmm. Okay, let's try to go in here. I didn't realize I was so low on health. Oh, I wasn't. I just got torn. Is it this elevator I need to... No, it's the other elevator. I like how they are color-coordinated, so if you look on your minimap, it's... If I had seen it, I did see it, but then I died. Be able to find it easier. Is there items here that I didn't grab? Yeah, there is.
No. The, like I, I liked all these different machines that you built in here. Something Bill does very well. Just these little pumps, turbines. Just add some nice movement to a level. That would overall. One of the reasons I like that doom texture, that scrolls, that panning one. atmospheric sounds added it's it makes it make me think there's something like behind there that was secret so Let's dive down there now maybe like just an item in the corner we didn't pick up but that's it okay, let's, I guess are scuba doing? 60? Uh, we won't grab that just yet. Let's go grab that. I don't know if we'll need it anymore, but... I'm so glad I... Didn't do what I was going to do. Damn it. I don't have to kill them all. I just don't want them to sneak up on me one day. Not my, uh, not my mission.
1.21 gigawatts. Or gigawatts. Great, Scott. Now I can finally come back and retire off the licensing deal. Please excuse the crudity of the mo this model. I don't have the time to build it to scale or paint it. Bend your knees and grab the nose to use. I know these. I like Duke's reflection. Uh, these guys wanted me to build a bomb, but I figured, what the hell? This should help generate of kids navigate around the fallout from atomic Got a little screenshot of that oh hoverboard I like all the, the looks of all these rooms are very, very colorful. There's the shrink ray. F5. Looks like there's another alien drone down there now. Okay, so that's now I can go in there. I want to jump over there. where we came from. I wonder if I could... Should I jump down here? Oh. Shortcut. Okay, nice, nice. Freezer ammo here. Hello. Car? Cool, cool. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god.
I think we're doing good right here. If I save right here. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta watch that edge, obviously. Busy trying to hit my screenshot button. Oh, I was hoping I could deck it. Alright, we got we gotta take out this guy. We gotta take out this guy. Maybe it'll be good to save. Take these guys out. Fill some ammo. the wrong one out. I wanted to... Okay, so let's pipe bomb this guy that's down here. Why am I... Oh, I'm out of pipe bombs. That would make sense too. I could have, I could have also done that. Yeah, I've also used my surroundings a little bit better. made it. We have six health. I don't know how we're going to do the rest of this, but we made it. Examining my surroundings.
<laughs> Excuse me, Moa. Oh my god, I died. Because that's that's why. Like the little atmospherics. Be careful if you see a switch. I've seen tons of switches and I've been hitting them. Okay, we're gonna go on a little too far off the beaten path there. It says danger radioactive, so I yeah, I, I can understand why I might not want to use it. I don't want to go in there yet. I do want to see what else might be in here, but that's about it. through there. I don't think there's anything else through here. Nothing else here. slanted areas. Again, just so nice to break everything up. Um, do I want to hit that? I feel like no, but... Footprints. I like how this fell off. Nice little detailing. Examining my surroundings. Television. Vision. Buttons. So we got some buttons. kind of worried they weren't taking damage for a second. These ones are uh, not taking as much damage. But we'll let them uh, hang out a little bit. We'll come back to them in a minute. Let's see how they're doing. Jump up here, jump up here, jump up here. What else do we want to do here? You don't think that would break, right? Oh. Wait.
we'll leave them for another minute. I just want to see if there's anything else in here. See, it's already working. This just looks weird. No. It's probably nothing. Is there something on that one? And maybe that was the trick. You have to jump on that. Oh. Oh. I didn't know I could come in through here. I also don't know at what point I'd want to take the... Oh, we're moving the aim. Figured. There's like, it was way too serious, and now I see that it's opened up, so. So we got that, got that. So I guess these are the only things we have to do. I, wait, should we turn off vision? Is there ever a good point to use that radiation thing, or is it just always a bad idea? these broken doors, you know, very nice one. Even if it can... Damn, I'm looking good. Oh. Or dead or not? Oh, makes sense. Okay, so we can go... I feel like I could do the shrink ray here, right? Maybe? I don't know if I can shrink ray and jump. Let's go to the armory. Maybe I have to use some of these so that I don't kill her. Like 
that. guys do you think I could do that do you think I can make that jump it feels like I have to shrink to get in there which is what that mirror is there for but maybe maybe I'm save here. I just want to see... Or we do that, and that gets us here. Let's go in um, Central Command, I guess. Yeah, we'll go Central Command first. Lightsabers in the armory. No, just lightsabers here. Oh, is that what these are? Oh, I see that now. They're being held. Central command. That's where I was going. Jesus. Got sorry. Get distracted by a text message. Lost my uh, lost my way. I like these little robots. Not these ones. Good little reference. Good use for those little plasma bars. Oh, what? Am I? I should use this. Not that. This. Just because we know we have more ammo for it. Pretty cool, look at you. Oh, it's is it like forty two?
Or is it 47? 47? 37? 32? Three seconds ago, I let somebody in. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I was about to mention those lights on the little consoles just in case. Because I, I was like, oh. There are two sets of switches. Oh, okay. I didn't Yeah, I didn't I didn't notice that. I thought he might have opened up. Okay, so that opens up that little door here. You guys are messing me with me. It's like a little umbrella logo. Pardon? Right now? What, what, what do you want? Right now, what do you want? Do we want it from Maestro's, right? Just like, gotta take an order. I think they have, uh, we do maestros. Just like a modern pizza. Do maestros. I don't want to switch tabs. What are you waiting for? I feel like I'm missing a secret, though. It's like I won't have access to chat while I'm doing this.
You said maestros, right? What are you waiting for? Christmas? Jeez, I'm trying to order. I, I removed an app, so like I was using a, there's a delivery app for food, and you got points every time you order food. The problem is then they changed it, so instead of getting points for every like dollar you spent, that you had to do specific challenges. Challenges, but then I'm like, oh, what are you, what are you kidding me? Like it, the price of delivery and all that stuff is so expensive, anyways. I'm like you kind of de-incentivized me from using your certain. Is that, is that what I'm working for? That word, uh, disincentivized us from using your services. So I'm I switched, and here we are. Wow, so much different when you're ordering it from Jerka from their website, though. Um, a lot of use of mirrors. I do like mirrors in the build engine. Regular to what are you waiting for? Mushrooms. Christmas. I didn't want extra shades, I just wanted mushrooms on half. Right. doing here come on uh and then i want one of the green alls i'll do that on all regular sorry this website's a little janky That's not even what I clicked. That's not even what I clicked. pizza sauce regular uh, I don't know why extra cheese is just there by default but we'll keep it I guess uh, we'll do uh, mushroom peppers, I guess Come on. You know, you know, not green peppers green olives on all of them regular Garlic, medium, add to cart. Hopefully that's right. What are you waiting for? Christmas?
Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Maybe an online payment? What am I missing? What am I missing? Sorry guys, I, I don't know what's not working here. Not like my phone number. It's not like that, it's not like that. What am I missing? What am I missing? Doesn't like my phone number. Come on. All right, let me use the sap. I'm... Even just to look at cool, I had to look up reboot. Ref bot? I wasn't familiar. Design looks cool. What's ref bot from? have a pizza option. Where's my pizza option? Sorry, I had to switch apps. Oh. That thing was not working. It wouldn't let me pay for my order. Parker, I can't, I, it's not working. Like, I can't. What are you waiting for? Christmas? I gotta download a different app because these people can't do it themselves.
like that. It's everything everything I'm trying to do really fast is just not working very fast. And nobody's Sure, add that. And then add this. Come on. Creamy, creamy garlic two there, boom, that's Okay, it's done. It's done. Come on. All right, guys, we're back. Let me just reload chat. Uh, fun thing to do apart from robot. thing actually fun not guaranteed Christmas. count the number of times Duke says that line about Christmas don't don't do that give me anxiety about how long that took me to do um, okay so is there anything else like I feel like this is such a big room we're just constantly worried of missing missing a secret somewhere but you know same thing. It's not hidden. Oh my god. of that for nothing. Oh my god, all that waiting. Okay, we well we still did it. We still did that, so let's grab that. Unfortunately the pistol does not want to work for me here. I guess I should use shrink on these guys. I'd love for that to work. The ship structure you can see outside is where the secret level is, but the actual entrance is later. Let's 
Pipe bomb these guys. Wasn't really planning on you being there, but okay. And that way we won't have zero health. We'll save there. see how long this is going to take my timer for my food. Oh, it was normal? I, I thought it was a sub-load. Okay. I didn't realize this came all the way back here. Okay, so I'm gonna take care of these guys. Let God sort him out. Just wanted them to squish, that's all I really wanted. Was it worth it? No. Everything missed him. Amazing. So, so, so good there. wave warps. Okay, that will that should have been the first sign. And I saw something that said that. So we won't use those yet. Under the teleporters. Oh warp factor, incubator. Ah, okay. That's cool. teleporter room. So that's the secret level. was a little unfair, I feel. Oh, is that 
Weapons. Slimer eggs drop weapons. I do this. I just want to know, like, what is this? Is okay, that was Fusion Station. On the moon. health kit over there so this is pretty big this is this is a very dark forces feeling actually once you add these textures to it restock on whatever ammo we can I didn't even notice that. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, like, the way these guys are listed, is, are you trying to imply I should climb up this? Like, or just that I can't? Way to waste all my atomic health. Wow. So we got this. Too bad we didn't have a low gravity on the moon. Maybe we will. Uh, what was over here? Well, let's go back to the full HUD. I. I so the only one I'm really missing ammo on is laser trip mines and shotgun and rockets RPG Devastator were good chain gun were good
atomic health up there. All right. Interesting, interesting. shot without getting hit. I know one of these is going to be real, and that's how you're going to get me. Are the protozoids able to eat the uh, the babes? Well, there's another call back to that. Freezer glitch. <laughs> One battle lord each. Jesus. You're a cruel person. What are you trying to do? Kill me. I like the look of that. That looks cool. What is the freezer glitch? When you freeze uh, a pig cop, when you freeze a pig cop, he can drop his shotgun. And if you let him unthaw and freeze him again, he'll drop another shotgun. Or there's like a chance for it. So it's unlimited ammo for a shotgun if you want it. I don't think there's anything up here, but just thought it would be cool to get up there. That's true, yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah. He was, uh, was he underwater? Yeah, he was under the water section. Under the sea. I feel like there's more I wanted to check out on this side. Oh my god, did I not save at all? Son of a bitch. Guys, I'm not shooting them. What? That's upsetting. Key card here. Hail to the king, baby. Not in the cards. Does that mean I didn't do this one either? Waste. That was an absolute waste. I did that poorly. So we got this, 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 that. So we just have the service hatch to go in here to get some key cards. I'm not gonna hit that yet.
Oh wait, what are we talking about, guy? We said we weren't going to use him. We're going to use him. Was it effective? No. Is that it? Okay, well, let's open the other slot then, I guess. I... Kill them while they're in there, you know? I'm trying to think how I'm going to tackle this problem here. you oh did I want to do that I don't want to abuse this moment since they can't do anything. Buddy, come here. I meant to do this, actually. I'm sorry. Now that we have some peace and calm for a moment, um, Poor guys. They really thought they were going to invade the world. They didn't even get out of a, a little force field. They gave me so many pipe bombs. I have to use them. So, I you know you'd prefer one-on-one -on -one battle, epic showdown. 
Oh, the car is free, but... Maybe. I was about to say, maybe you're mortal, though, because you're not dying, but... Stand corrected. You died. Just like all of them. Alright, let's get some ammo here. Now we can drop that. Nice. Steroids. Oh, let's do this. Health. Some of this stuff didn't want to fall. That's okay. This would have been a cool place to have a showdown, too, actually. Like, it would have been. I wasn't such a bitch. Hi. When it gets in, it says it's seven minutes, four minutes away. Oh, it's like cryo tubes. That's pretty cool. I'd have any. So now we got the red keys, so we can go around. Like this. A little drip of blood. Nice. Here. Not yet. Almost. Oh, 
There's a shopping cart. That is a lot. That is a lot of blood. Take give me one moment. I'm just gonna grab my uh, pizza. Okay. Heavy metal pickup? Like the movie or magazine, I guess.
Oh. I thought that was like concrete. Okay, secret place there. Save before the mines. So, am I supposed to be able to do this? Does this look normal? Am I supposed to do that? So that's normal? I'm not supposed to be doing... Lunatic Fringe. That's why it's under construction. good. That, that's the real challenge, is trying to escape. So I'm not going to go in down there yet. I want to see what's over here.
great choice just using my skull to smash a bunch of sentry drones. Yeah, I thought so. Nice, nice little, little bar here. Red key card. Go in the water, I guess. That was not a pickup. It's death. There's a med kit up there, so I'm gonna go grab that, I guess. Now, do I want to use this now or later? I'm going to use it later. So I'm going to go, I'll go around the outside here first. Circle around, clear this outside, before heading into the inner key. Oh, I didn't check to see if there's any uh, babes. I just assumed you were safe. This guy. Good. Jetpack. Look at that. Boom. Game over. Got everything. 
Because now I know... Because the thing that you were mentioning at the beginning where we go back and we can get a secret up there, I definitely remember that secret, but... Is that the... Maybe I'm thinking... Of, is that Lunar Apocalypse? I definitely remember one being upside an elevator. So is that where you normally get the jet the jetpack? Is just in the secret level? In sorts. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of enemies in this map, you know. Okay, save there. Alright, let's restock on like Devastator ammo, all the big stuff. Good. That is that is some kills.
Okay, so now we can do this, I'm assuming. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just, gonna, just gonna leave. Oh, you not. Maybe uh, we'll do this, and we'll do this. We gotta take out the battle lords first. Just shoot everywhere and hopefully something will land. Save. Scuba. We should get some more ammo. I wasn't expecting to get so drained from that, but that was a pretty big fight. So now I could go back to the beginning. Or do I go back to the beginning anyways?
Uh, you know what? I'll continue forward because maybe maybe I'll pop out back at the beginning because I feel like there's certain parts I don't know how I would get back to. Like from the moon, for example. Okay, I'll keep going. to grab a cane run thing. Okay. Bitch. Why do you just die? Thank you. Oh, I wanted the, uh, I wanted the Devastator, but I was going to let him die by getting squished. It's my fault. Made it. Little pig cops down there. Little pig cop tanks.
Oh, is this kind of like we're doing the Doom thing? Am I going to get shot through a rail, giant railgun? Take out these guys first. Just so we can get our climactic moon battle. I got that one. Oh, I didn't even notice him up there. I have to take this thing back? Oh yeah, it was up here. I'm gonna use... Uh... I know I could. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Let's save my uh, jetpack just in case I need it.
We have one more secret left, and like where I feel it would be would be, to be honest, in the Enterprise, maybe. But maybe not. Armor. Damn, I'm good. Is on the moon. Interesting. I have an idea of where that is then. miss all these guys. Maybe it, maybe it didn't. What a journey this has been. This is the... Uh, maybe. I like all these respawns. But even going back to that secret still offers something... something new. I'm just trying to figure out how to get back to there. I have to get back to there. But I, I don't remember how I did it. Did I go, oh, it's water. No? no. Oh, it, this is underwater. I have to go under here. Is that what I do? middle portion
I want to hit the radiation thing now. Nice. Uh, and then we go... Where are we going? Hey, it's not like house. Very nice. I was wondering if that was a Rainbow Road thing. I was originally going to try to pair this up with one of Toilet Duck's maps, but then I was like, oh, this is going to take me forever uh, to do, so I figured I'd do that for next one. Okay, so the last thing to do is to kill this guy. Hello, welcome, welcome. Where did you come from? Uh, wait. Oh, did it? Okay, that's cool. I don't remember where I'm going now. So we do this guy, unlocked him, went to the red. I remember running off. Did we go through here? Where's the giant nerf gun? Where's the giant nerf gun? There it is. That's what I was about to say. I'm like, I'm just gonna, gonna fly back up there. Where'd he go? Day or will it? Uh, this is the last one, uh, but in case you visit. So, I, your map is next week. I'm doing Shifting Stan Sands next week. It's my main map. And then I might do a little tiny one after that. Only because I. I'll move you soon. And I'm coming to get the rest of you, alien bastards. Just successful. That was good. I don't was that really the longest one? Yeah, we're doing shift in sand land next week. So that's that's the plan for next week. Yeah, that was good. a good little map. I like that moon section. A lot of the stuff looked visually splendiferous. So I really really enjoyed all that. Thank you. Thank you. I, I thought I'd get like a really ready room or I'm not saying you had to have any of those. But, uh, that's what, I, and when you thought it said secret level, I thought you meant, oh no, like actual secret level. I wasn't prepared for a whole nother level, but that worked.
Yeah. That was a great time. That was a great map. A great way to close it out. Unless you do the other ones. Like, I, I don't know if you plan on doing another, like, the birth or anything. But for the original trilogy, what a great little reimagining. A little journey through the ball. Luna, that one I definitely remembered the least amount of from um, the perspective of, like, key areas and things. But still, I'm uh, I'm not against trying to find more space maps. I still think those are the ones that are the hardest to construct and make look and feel coherent um, because you have so much stuff just floating in space. And once you have that, it's like, okay, you just have giant blocks floating in space. So it can look so weird. So the way you did it with the, the warps and all those little effects is, is kind of a good way to tie it all together. And just that movement with that ship around. Once you had some, a little bit of movement around your map, it really kind of sells the whole concept. Um, but that was a great little time. Normally I'd have a little little post game here and we talk about some stuff. Um, but actually, first three episodes for now, reasonable. Don't, don't overdo it. And then tomorrow there'll be a, you'll release all of episode four already. Um, but yeah, that was a great time all around. So um, I'll be back next week with Shifting Sandlands, which is Toilet Duck's map, uh, as we continue through our Super Mario 64 series. We'll continue on with the hour-long mapping as well to start it up things off. Um, maybe I'll, I'll kind of work on some stuff on the side to figure out how to do some ideas I would like to do for that map, not to plan out and like build it in advance, but the mechanics of it, like uh, explosions and stuff like that, because I'm, I'm a little rusty on that. Maybe brush up on my my key commands a little bit so then that we can get more progress done instead of just poking around and trying to remember buttons. Not that there's anything wrong with that either because that's also part of the fun journey. But I hope you have yourselves a good weekend everybody. I have to now run to catch up with people walk into the movie theater uh, and uh, I will see you all around next week. <laughs>